Hello, World Wide Web, and welcome to my stock channel. This is James with another stock update. Uh, this one is called SNDL, Sundial Inc. They are a liquor company in Canada. Um, they currently own over 170 locations, um, 12 of which are a company called Wine & More. They're mega, mega, mega liquor stores, uh, freestanding buildings, very beautiful. Uh, I'll see if I can show you some pictures. Um, they're the newest fancy schmancy wine super outlets um, you've seen probably. Um, up in Canada, they call them Wine & More, one of the nicest and biggest liquor stores there are. Uh, they bought... Uh, Ace Liquor, they bought a, co a company called Alcana, which has, I think, 90 Ace Liquor stores. They also bought out a chain of uh, cannabis stores. They also started a cannabis growery. They've done this rather quickly. Um, let's just take a quick look at the stock. Uh, currently, the market cap is $495 million. A half a billion dollars is what the world thinks this is worth. Um, it's diluted to death. They've done reinvestments over and over again or new offerings over and over again. There's a lot of shares out there. Um, so obviously the value valuation, if you adjust for that, it's on a, on a monthly stock price. Probably should be through the moon right now. So kind of probably make you think it's kind of expensive. But when you look at the actual number, the only one that really counts, half a billion dollars. Uh, what's this company worth? That's the question. Uh, we go back on time here and we look at what happened. Um, we start out with an income statement. This is right when they got started in business, 2018. They started spending money. Uh, in grand total down here, they spent $800 million. Looks like they got a couple of stores open, $63 million for the year. 60 million for the year, 56 million for the year. It looks like, uh oh, they're you know they're they're starting to buy stores and open stores or build stores, but they're just not doing any revenue. Um, this chart only takes you to 2021. In 22, there was a massive jump of revenue. Um, as they opened their 12th store, they came online. I guess they finally got the the build finished. Uh, the last couple wine and more stores, they said, cost $2 million to build out. I don't know whether they're renting them or whether they bought the property. Uh, it's not reflected as a uh, liability, so there is no mortgage. If they did buy it, they bought it with cash. Um, I'm thinking they're probably renting at this point, but there's a little bit more research to do on that end. Uh, but yeah, this... Uh, 56 million for the year turned into almost a billion a year is what they're doing now in 2020 at the end of 22 the last two quarters they're tracking a billion a year this was a i think they said it was a 2000 percent year over year increase um or quarter to quarter uh absolutely shocking um the wine and more is a, a smash hit uh the liquor stores are doing good. Uh, they're on this balance sheet. See, Google's old. Uh, so this is the balance sheet. You can see the assets. Uh, I guess either this $1.42 in assets they had in 2021, they still have most of this. Uh, this is liquor. And I thought it was uh, real estate. I thought this included their stores. Like maybe they went and paid for them which would have been kind of nice and responsible and good for the future. So I thought these were assets and the lack of liabilities. Uh, I like that it shows that they don't have a mortgage on the locations as of yet. Um, the company to this day has tons of credit. Uh, they still have tons of assets. Uh, what they don't have is much money. Uh, they've gone from, in one year, whoa, hold on, sorry, sports fans. I like to flow these things around. I know it kills your eyes. Oh, here it is. K. 
cash, $645 million, $645 million. Uh, that's how much they had in 2021. Now they're down to less than $20 million as of today. Uh, with 170 locations, um, they lost $90 million last quarter. Uh, they're up to a billion dollars a year. Um, the things I really like about this company is, number one, uh, the CEO on the earnings call said that they were done expanding uh, for now. So we, we're going to get to see what this company looks like. Uh, they're supposed to have a 20 to 30 percent operating margin. Um, there's a billion, so that should be a couple of hundred million, uh, 300 million dollars worth of uh, gross profit, uh, minus all the employees and rent and stuff like that, of course. So it might end up being a break even thing. It might grow up even more. There might be more stores still opening. It looks like the sudden bull rush in revenue just came in the second half of 2022. As for being out of cash, I wouldn't worry about it. They have a billion dollars in assets. They have credit out the wazoo. Uh, and then they have a ton of revenue. Uh, they need to quit uh, expanding. They said they were. Um, they've diluted the heck out of this thing. Uh, this shows... Outstanding shares is, oh, I'm sorry. Nope, nope, it's down here. Outstanding shares, 238 million outstanding shares. I mean, that's a big ouch. So the company, to get everything going, to get these locations, to open up 170 stores, to buy out another company, um, they didn't really go into debt to do it. They sold these shares over and over and over again. And they plummeted this price down to $1.90. Um, at one point, they were faced with going under a dollar. So the company came out and bought a few million dollars worth of shares themselves in a share buyback. And they said that they're gonna, their plan is to reconsolidate uh, all these shares. So they're going to bring it from the 200-something million back to something more normal. So every time they do a stock buyback, uh, the price should go up which is a good thing that they're interested in doing that. So stopping the expansion and doing stock buybacks seems to be their futuristic goals. It looks like they reached their goal of becoming a billion dollar company. It looks like they reached their goal of doing that without going into debt heavily. I am loving their balance sheet for 2021. It doesn't look like they blew it up for 2022. I've seen uh, some of the numbers uh, for some of the quarters. Uh, looks like they kept it in check. Um, they took investor money and they started these things. Um, and they got 170 million of them. So as far as the, a healthy company goes, uh, these costs are going to obviously vanish as they're done buying new locations, as they're done expanding. And we're just going to see blue lines that are approximately uh, up here somewhere at the top of my screen. That's how far they've gone up. A uh, billion dollars in revenue. Uh, they're a cannabis company too now. They're selling uh, weed right on the shelves. They have a chain of cannabis stores. They started a growery. I don't know how much headaches that is. That sector is uh, winning the money in the store and losing them $8 million at the growery. Um, I don't know if they wanted to mess around with this space or expand this even further, but opportunity is opportunity. And if you have now all these Ace stores, Ace liquor stores, maybe they'll stick cannabis in all those too. Uh, they could end up with uh, a lot of cross opportunities, a lot of people that can get fired, a lot of warehouses that can get closed, a lot of trucks you probably don't need anymore. There's probably a lot of acquired assets that can get consolidated from one liquor business to the other. Um, they're going to have to keep everybody on payroll. They'll probably have to close the weaker stores uh, from Ace and keep the stronger ones. Um, they got the cost of a total, uh, or I'm sorry, I call it total, what widened more. They got the cost of the build out down to $2 million on the last two units if they did. 
Uh, so it sounds like they can add more if they want to, when they want to. Um, and they got plans on uh, three and then three more. So even six more coming in the future. But he said they're getting pretty cheap to open. So I was kind of impressed by that. Um, makes me think they're not buying the real estate. Maybe they're paying rent. If they are paying rent for a superstore like that, uh -huh, you know that that's going to be trouble making a profit. That means out of the, uh, we figure they're doing a million and a half per wine and more. Um, on a previous video, I have no idea what their numbers are at this point on a per location. Now that they have the 170, they had 12 locations and they just blossomed into 170. So to try to do the math on the billion dollars and divide it up, uh, I have no idea how much they're doing on a store store basis. Uh, they were doing uh, $400,000 a month out of the wine and, month, uh, wine and more stores uh, when they had them open only. And that's you know, the core of the company through this period was 12 wanted more, more stores, $400,000 a month per store per month, um, which is pretty decent. But if they're renting, their, their rent has to be, you know, 30, 40,000 a month. Their power bill has to be 10,000 a month. Uh, the employees in Canada are probably expensive. It probably takes a lot of them to keep the thing. So I don't know. I don't know how well Wine and More is really doing. I really like uh, what I see. I like the way they spent the investor money and bought the stuff and kept the asset and didn't have the liability. Uh, it looks like they didn't go to Europe and go on vacation. Uh, they built a company. They built a billion dollar company. Um, can they run a liquor store? I guess that's what we're going to find out next. Can they run a liquor store for a profit? Can they run 170 of them at the same time uh, for a profit and manage a recession? I guess people drink in a recession and liquor stores boom. Uh, they said the cannabis space was getting oversaturated. New liquor stores were getting oversaturated. Um, so they're going to stop opening the liquor stores up. Uh, they're going to stay as they are for a little while. And thank God, I want to see what uh, this thing pans out to be in the end. Um, so now it's a business. And uh, uh, when I was looking at it previously, it, it, it looked like a buying opportunity, like a buyout opportunity. They had a billion dollars in assets and then $600 million more in cash. And then the market value was a half a, half a billion dollars. It just looked like somebody was going to walk in and take the liquor. <laughs> but as it turns out, now it's a company. Uh, now it's got 170 uh, locations. There's a lot more going on. There's a lot, a lot more to think about. There might be some potential there on top of the initial great situation on the balance sheet. I don't know. Uh, check this one out. Uh, check out Ace Liquors. I guess that's the next thing is to find out how bad this company sucked when they got bought out. Um, what happened to them, what they, whether they paid a good price. There's a lot of new considerations on the table. Long before this thing turns profitable, it does have a billion dollars, but they had $1.1 billion in spending, causing them to lose uh, $100 billion um, in 2022 in one quarter. So they're losing about 400, 400 million a year out of that billion to do the billion. And it's probably further expansion. It's probably finishing paying off the uh, Ace Liquor Store people. Um, when they did the first 12 stores, it took them three years to pay them off. That's why you don't see an improvement in revenue. They did all 12 stores at once. And then they just took all of this and paid it off. And took all of their money, all their stockholder money, every penny they got their hands on, and they sent it, and they paid off everything that they did. And they brought us to this very pleasant situation, which allowed them to get to 170 stores. Uh, I wouldn't worry about their cash. I think they got a, they don't have enough of it, but they have credit lines out the wazoo if they need them. I don't know if they need cash. It doesn't look like they do. 
Uh, it looks like their bills are behind them. They're in a healthy place. Uh, they're done growing. They're in a few sectors. It's called SNDL. $1.90 a share after all the dilution. This could look like a $70 share or something if it had normal dilution. So I guess there is a lot of optimism around it already. Uh, if you look at the market cap, though, there's no optimism whatsoever. Uh, the world thinks this thing's worth a half a billion dollars, and they do a billion a year. So I like opportunities like this. I think they can turn it around. Uh, I wouldn't want to be in retail right now, but liquor retail, that's a different story. That's a recession dream. Uh, they're also talking about one day coming to the United States. So they might end up here one day once they got the. They really like the uh, wine and more brand, uh, really good looking stores. They do really well in America. Uh, that's my stock update though for Sundial, SNDL, wine and more, Ace Liquor, uh, drug dealer people. Um, I don't know. It's a tough one. It's worth picking up a few shares, I think. I wouldn't go too crazy with it. I don't know. We, we don't know how crazy they truly are, but I guess we'll see. See if they stop spending money. But keep your eyes on this one. Um, SNDL. Have a wonderful day. Please like my video and subscribe. See you next time.